All right, so I think we're in month four or month five of recovery now, and I wanted, I wanted to make this quick video just to see where I'm at and, or just to show everybody where I'm at. And I think these videos are person, personally for me, but obviously this can help anybody else or if they want to get a look inside of what the whole process is like for double jaw surgery or whatever kind of jaw surgery you're getting done or any any I guess face surgery and yeah so right now I actually went to the orthodontist earlier this week and he went ahead and told me that I needed to use rubber bands uh, one on each side for now and those are only for night times so he says whenever I go to bed I should put them on and then when I wake up take them out and pretty much just the same process every day and I should see him next month uh, in August I wanted to show the packets that I'm using so these are the ones they gave me this gorilla gorilla branded rubber bands and I'll dump them out I actually have two packs because he gave me two packs and if I dump them out this is how they look so yeah that's these are the rubber bands that they provided me with and another thing with these rubber bands you have to change them out every day so yeah be weary of that that you have to change them out every day a uh, thing about it that I've learned online is that they lose elasticity over time so of course you want to be changing them out and then also it's it's just good hygiene because they can get dirty I wanted to show this uh, Oral-B Super Floss for braces right there and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside so it's this like neatly folded packet and as you can tell I don't have a lot of them left but they're really long strands basically of floss all it is is floss so yeah you have the plastic uh, liner piece right here which is like uh, yeah I don't know how long it is but you have that that'll you know initially goes through like that and sort of like a needle and then the rest of this is just like a cotton or whatever Actually, there's cotton on this section, I guess for cleaning the braces or whatever. And then the next section after that, this is the actual floss, you know, the biggest piece. This is what you're supposed to be running through your teeth like like that. So I was able to purchase these at a CVS or a Walgreens. I forgot which one it was. I think it was a little more expensive than Walmart, but at that time... I it was an emergency emergency so I ended up just buying them there I think it was just like a dollar more two dollars more so it wasn't that big a deal and besides it comes with a lot of them uh, as you can tell it says 50 pre-cut on the bottom I hope you can see that and I saved the best for last because I'm gonna go ahead and just show what my smile looks like or also my side profile and all that stuff just to keep it logged in uh, so when I look back at all these videos again so I will start with my teeth so this is how they're looking right now so as you can tell I have a gap up and down right here I'd like to think that it's closing uh, this tooth right here next to the big one that one right there that was having a hard time like coming up but uh, the rubber bands that the orthodontist gave me he told me that actually I might as well just put them on and show which would be better all right so this is how he wanted me to wear to wear my bands so apparently this one is supposed to close this gap down here or do something I don't know and then over here I think he told me that it's going to close a gap that I have right there that I showed earlier and yeah and then also I think he also said that the tooth that's not uh, overlapping properly that's next to the big tooth uh, that's also supposed to come up somehow with the rubber bands and yeah we'll just see 
yeah, everything has gone good, and I've had braces for like a few months now, and you know, nothing alarming. Everything has gone according to plan, I feel like, and yeah, everything's pretty good. My teeth are shaping up pretty nice. I actually got like, uh, I got a filling done not too long ago, earlier this month, and I'm supposed to, I'm still due for like two more fillings, so I'm also getting, getting that done, so pretty close to having uh, some pretty good teeth and pretty happy about that. So at this point, in terms of my nerves, I don't know if there's another word for that, but the feeling sensation inside my cheeks, uh, I feel that it's actually coming back pretty slowly. And it's crazy because it's only now that I'm starting to feel that, the, the feeling, you know, the feeling coming back. And yeah, it's it's pretty much everything inside my mouth that I still can't feel too well. I think when I touch like my cheeks and everything, I mean, it just feels normal and touching everything down here. I feel like, you know, it's just normal, but inside is where it's kind of weird because, um, you know, I can't really feel all too well inside my mouth, uh, like on the gum lines or, you know, inside like right here. Or inside over here you know places like that and actually I know uh, I think the last video I was complaining about the roof of my mouth still not being uh, like not me not being able to feel it but I'm happy to announce that I've actually got some feeling up here on the roof of my mouth now and yeah I've been poking away at it just to like for like experimentation and stuff to see if I can feel it and yeah, it, it definitely hurts a lot, which is a good sign whenever I poke it and uh, it's starting to come back as opposed to before where I would poke it and I would literally feel nothing at all, like no response. But now uh, I'm glad that that's coming back. And it's kind of cool how it happened because uh, at the very back of, at the very back is where uh, the most I could feel and then like uh, you know, after a few months, it started to slowly like spread like forward the feeling sensation, if that makes any sense. So uh, that's pretty cool. Very happy about that. Well, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post my SoundCloud and TikTok down in the description below. And also my Instagram, if you want to check those things out. And uh, also my Spotify playlist, which is just a compilation of some of my favorite music of all time uh, from like any genre pretty much any music that I like you know it's I just have like a big mashup playlist on Spotify so that'll be linked below and yeah that'll pretty much do it um, I'm I think I covered all the major topics you know that was about it just you know the super floss for the braces uh, the rubber bands that the orthodontist instructed me to wear and that's about it and obviously the feeling sensation of how that's going oh i forgot the side profile and all that stuff so let's get that out of the way and i guess i'll just give a big smile here to end it off Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in to another update video, uh, post-op surgery, whatnot. And yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that next video will be. Alright, thank you guys, and I'm out.